Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. I'm so excited. It's time now for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare, and you are in for a real treat. Joining us this morning is flight nurse Renee Delu. Thank you so much for being here, Renee. We appreciate it. So much for having me. You are welcome. Okay, so today we're talking about LifeNet Air Ambulances. Tell us about those. Um, so we're LifeNet of Michigan. We are a um, air ambulance and helicopter service um, who services um, the majority of the state of Michigan, um, especially where we're out on the thumb in north, but we'll go anywhere in Michigan for um, air facility transfers as well as um, scene flight and EMS calls in the area. Okay, so I think your job is so fascinating and it is such a high adrenaline job. Tell us about being a flight nurse. Well, you're right. It does have you know, some excitement and some adrenaline to it. Um, basically, as a flight nurse, um, we um, we work closely together as critical care flight nurses with critical care paramedics. Um, we do um, interfacility transfers for critical care patients um, coming from um, a, maybe a smaller rural hospital to, let's first say, Covenant um, uh, for more advanced critical care. Uh, we also are trained to do um, scene flights. So when the ambulance companies in the area will call because they have an accident or they trauma patient, um, we also respond to scenes as well. And Renee, I would think, and I would imagine that you'd have to be prepared for everything and anything. Tell us about that. That is one of the, the things that is a major component of the job. We do the very young, um, from neonate, we do up to any age. So we do medical, we do trauma. Um, a lot of times when we get a call, we accept it based on the location where we're, where we're going and where we're coming back to, as well as that the weather is, is available to fly. But we, at that point in time, never know what we're going to get. So I don't know at the time, is it medical, is it trauma, is it a heart attack, is it a stroke? So you really truly, when you get in the aircraft, have to be prepared to take care of anything because we're not really sure at that point in time what we're responding to. And you are standing in front of the most amazing machine, that helicopter behind you. We want to know all about the helicopter and the hangar there at Covenant. So the, I'm standing in front of our helicopter. It's a BK-117. Um, it um, is pretty much equipped like a flying intensive care unit. Um, again, like I said before, we have the ability to take care of the smallest patient to the oldest and the biggest patient. Um, we are where you're seeing the helicopter sit. We're right outside of the ER doors at Covenant. Um, so we are right next and right ready for them. Behind us is our hangar where we keep the aircraft if there's you know weather coming in where we need to keep it from um, getting damaged. Also in the hangar is um, rooms for the nurses, the uh, paramedic, and as well as the pilot, which is just a minute walk from Covenant as well. And we can tell that you love your job and you have to be a special type of person to do what you do. We do appreciate all the work that you're doing. Tell us, why do you love it? Why are you so passionate about working for LifeNet? I think I like, one of my passions for working with LifeNet is the people. I really truly think that we have absolutely the most amazing critical care nurses, critical care paramedics, the most amazing pilots and mechanics that make this all happen. So I kind of feel like it's a second family. They are absolutely the amazing, most amazing people. Um, I do like the variety. I like the ability to take care of the very young up to the very old, um, to be able to do trauma, to be able to do medical, and really just kind of to be able to make a difference in people's lives. Um, really at the time where they need it most. Um, I had an instructor tell me one day, when you do this job, you are there to take care of people and you are going to have um, involvement in one of the worst moments of their lives. And I just kind of feel like, especially in this job with the level of critical care, that I actually get to make a difference and hopefully a positive impact in those most difficult moments of their life. Well, we have to tell you that we appreciate you and we thank you for all that you do. And we're so glad that you are here in mid-Michigan for all of us. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing a little bit of what you do with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Have a great day, Renee. And thank you. If you'd like any more any inf information about today's topic, just head on over to the Hot Links page on WNEM.com.